Hey folks, Jonathan here. We're working on the drum brakes on this uh, the Nash, 48 Nash, trying to get them apart. Actually got the new wheel cylinders in for the front. We want to make sure that they're right as quick as we can. And then uh, we once we know that, we can go from there. I'm going to try to find the linings, reline them brakes. I'll show everybody how we do it. And uh, I think that's about it. We're going to try to get this drum off. They're going to be tight, I'm sure. Actually don't look, well they got rust in them and stuff, but they don't look really bad, which is a good thing because we may end up having to rebuild the back ones if I can't find them. Uh, shoes have got some wire. We'll see what we've got. These are, I think these are glue ones, so they may be later model shoes. We can still drill them and rivet them, and I'll show you why. Let's see. You see the holes are still in it. So the rebuilder, when they rebuilt these brakes, used glue on, but you can still go back and use uh, the rivets through the holes. So, and I don't have a way of gluing them on, and uh, I don't don't really trust it because I don't have the right equipment to do it. You got to drill it, or you got to glue them and then press them and hold them and all that good stuff. So I would rather just rivet them. And uh, so if, if we replace them, we'll rivet them. I'll show you how to do it. As you can see, the short shoe. And the long shoe, so the short shoes to the front, they've got that right, and uh, everything looks actually pretty good in there. The adjuster wasn't stuck, I was able to back it off to be able to get the uh, drum off. So it looks like this side really we could clean it up, do wheel cylinder and the uh, rubber line, and maybe possibly turn the drum and put it back together. Repack the bearings, which they were packed really well, but we'll go ahead and repack them. But uh, looking good so far. Okay, we got the front off the other side, and it actually looks as good or better. Uh, I think what has saved these one thing is somebody had the adjusters, the rubber caps in there, so really nothing could get in. This one looks really nice. So I don't even think we're going to reline these shoes, but we'll see what the back looks like. But even if we don't, I'll find an old shoe and I'll show everybody how to reline one. So now we're taking the back off. And luckily, we have old tools to work on old cars. This is a hub puller. Some of you probably seen it. Some of you, I'm sure, haven't. Uh, they make these all different ways. This particular kind is made to hit with a hammer. But we'll get it set up on there and I'll show you. Okay, some axles are splined and some are keyed. This has just got a single key in it. I'm going to see if we can... Hopefully these will pop off pretty easy. Good and tighten and hit it on the end if you have to. Right here at the end of it. Swing it around some more. Right. Right, hit the end of it. Look at the one there pretty tight. Bigger hammer. <laughs> now 
Now, if these are not tight, you'll shear a key off in a minute, so. I'll get a bigger hammer to hit the end. Get it right, get it right on the end of you. Give it a good work right on the end. Get in there and hit the brakes for you. I don't think they'll work. There you go. Now just pull the whole thing out. Pull it off. There you go. Oh, we'll have to, might have to back the brakes off. We forgot to do that. Alright, persistence pays off. Alright, side number two. There you go. Well, that's nice and easy. I had already did that. Oh, you done backed it up? Yeah. Looks good. Okay, folks, I'm really impressed with these brakes. I, it's, someone had to redo all the brakes on this car before it was parked. Uh, I mean, you can see rust and stuff inside the wheel cylinders. I mean, they're not, they're not going to get by, well, as you can see it falling out. They're definitely not going to get by the way they are. But hopefully we can hone these ones. If not, you know, we'll find out what the bore is and I'll get a length and then we'll we'll change them out to something different just by redoing the back of the uh, backing plate or uh, we may be able to rebuild them, resleeve them. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, brake shoes, I, I'm, I'm not going to do anything to them. I'm going to clean them up. We're still going to redo a brake shoe so everybody can see how it's done. We just won't do one on this car. Uh, brake lines I've got on the way, all, all new rubber lines, and then uh, of course we're going to replace the steel line. And uh, I didn't even look to see what kind of shape they're in. They got some rust on them, so we're gonna we're gonna just replace them. It's not a big issue there. Uh, trunk is fair, except for right where the spare tire goes, which is, you know, of course not a big problem, but it's uh, it's also pretty, you know, normal. And fuel line we'll have to replace. We've got the gas tank off. Uh, got the master cylinder off, and I'll show you both of them. Uh, gas tank, of course, is shot, but I think we can come up with something that'll fit in here, and uh, still be able to run over on that side, driver's side, for the fill. And uh, got quite a bit of room in here to to work, so I don't think you know I don't think it'd be that big of an issue. And uh, rear end, you know, it's dirty, but we'll clean it up. Of course, I'm sure it needs new shocks on it. Kind of a weird setup for the shocks. So we'll have to check them out and see how they bolt in on the top. But I, they definitely bolt in weird on the bottom. But we can we can make something if we have to to put new shocks on it. Springs are wrapped. And uh, don't see any issues with them broken or anything. Uh, you can see the back floorboard is the, is the worst. Uh, we stepped on it in there and pushed it down but that's all going to come out we're going to uh, go ahead and put uh, put new floors in and I can see we'll just bead roll where they normally have the the ribs at that run across and uh, with the biggest bead roll we've got I mean it, it don't have to be anything you know to, to be exact uh, besides that's not too bad uh, I think Jordan is really pumped up on ready to drive this so let me look at the and show you the gas tank in the master cylinder. Okay, here's the gas tank. Uh, as you can see, there's some rust holes, and it's getting bigger. 
so it's rusted out uh, it looks like it's probably about 18 inches by maybe 36 or something like that yeah it's uh, definitely absolutely shot so we'll come up with something to replace that I don't think you can get a replacement for it uh, you know worst comes worse we'll make a tank okay here's our master cylinder got a new one coming should be here anytime I was hoping to be here today but of course it didn't make it so thankfully we can get one and it looks like this is a Lockheed so uh, the banjo fitting still on it we should have took it off from there but it really don't matter because we've got to replace lines anyway I think one of them broke yeah this one had broke on him but they're just running forward it's not a it's not a problem to replace them there's our overdrive and uh, we got a battery terminal hanging down here it's supposed to go over to the other side there's our overdrive and it looks like cable operating don't know I'm not real familiar with these overdrives it's got electric sunlight or something here too so I don't know we'll have fun figuring that out never had anything with an overdrive like that pretty dry under it not terrible oily uh, the front floorboards don't look bad at all really I thought they would look worse than this and uh, just the rear ones are the really bad ones Yes, I don't see any major issues with anything. Uh, just a lot of cleaning and pressure washing and getting stuff uh, back together. Uh, I think Jordan's going to try to pressure wash inside the wheel wells and everything. We'll get the new wheel centers on the front and new hoses. Clean the brake shoes up. Still may turn the, turn the drums lightly and just taking Sandy's off a little bit to clean them up. And the adjusters wasn't stuck. So, I mean, it's just... They stayed dry in there, and I guess that's what what uh, saved everything. Uh, there was a lot of nuts and stuff inside the car too, so I guess the uh, squirrels got in there, of course. So, yeah, you know, I really figured the front would be worse. We're going to get everything out, get the seats out, get the uh, rubber out. We'll get the floor straightened out, and then we'll put something back in the floor. He's hoping he can find some rubber like that. Yeah, I, I kind of think this is going to make a pretty good car. Seats are in good shape. I don't know if he's going to want to leave them like this or cover them, but that's up to him. Uh, we got the headliner out. Of course, it was hanging down, so we can start doing some dolly and get the roof, you know, good and straight. Yeah, I don't see any major issues. I think a lot of this was... Uh, a lot of this in interior used to be a wood grain and you know the fake wood grain I've got a friend that knows how to do that that does do it I may get him over here and to teach me how to do it and maybe we'll do a video on it and see if we can make it look back right I don't think there's that much to it it's just knowing the process so, anyway we'll keep on this thing as the parts come in do more video he's worked on the front door a little bit make it shut a little better and he's got the, the doors like he oiled all the hinges up and everything he's got them opening and closing really well you can see where that floor came through but you know we knew from the start it was going to have to have floors so that's not a problem there I think we got we come out lucky on everything else. I guess you know with having the engine as bad as it was, with having to you know put a head gasket and the valves and stuff. I guess uh, we made up on that on for that for the brakes. So all right, appreciate everybody watching, and we'll uh, we'll keep on this thing. Next video, we'll start putting stuff back together. All right, bye.